Hello Aries, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to use the deck of the Qatars, the Tarot of the Qatars. They were a medieval religion, the first one who believed they lived in a matrix and they called it the Shadow World. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to get straight into your reading. I'm going to pull five cards. One in the middle addressing the problem that there might be. And four surrounding them, two negative aspects and two positive aspects. So let me shuffle the cards for you. And measure twice, cut once. And here are the cards. Negative aspects and positive aspects. So here we go. The problem might be the Endura in the reverse. That's the hangman for those who want to know. Here it's called the Endura. And it's about seeing things from another aspect. Let me just cheat a little here. Embrace every aspect of life when it presents itself. That's about what it says in the first line on this book. And it points to a reversal in your life. Something changing, a rebirth, a, a passing, new insights. And when it's in the reverse, it could be about self selfishness. Not being able to take a good decision, not keeping promises, unjust accusations and being stuck. So there might be a phase in your life where you feel stuck, Aries. Maybe things are not progressing very well. Let's see what negative aspects there might be within this. And it shows another major arcana, Ascension which is the chariot. So there might be an aspect of you having an, an issue with your vehicle or how do you see the way to move things forward. And maybe you're going to a transition phase where you ascend to a new person, a new you, a new beginning. And here we have the seven of shields and the Seven of Shields represents rods or staffs. What else did they call? Wands. Wands, yes. And the Seven of Shields in the reverse is about worrying, embarrassment, decisionlessness, and lack of self confidence. So that's our two negative aspects that might be concerning the problem of being stuck. So you have worrying too much and about the Ascension card. Let's see what else it more says. In the middle of the battle, the one who's, who seeks finds peace. That's one advice of the Ascension card. So keep moving, that's what they say. A journey or a struggle to make headwind. So keep pushing Aries. So let's further on see what the positive aspects may be influencing or bettering your situation of being stuck and we have another two reversal cards the queen of shields and the eight of wisdom in the reverse so the queen of shields is the queen of rods or wands
and she's about being an extraordinary good-looking person with a strong theatrical aspect when you meet her you will notice she has a wave of energy knowledge and business insights where you can be sucked into so maybe there's somebody in your life you look up to and have a lot of influence and inspiration of might be a family member a friend but in the reverse she might be even a bit jealous or extravagant and she might be a bit deceitful but she has female charm lovingness about her and a good business insight so be careful with this person they might have a negative aspect but she is in the positive aspect of this reading so i guess the reversal isn't really of essence here and this is really somebody you can count on in, within your struggle of being stuck and going through an ascension period and the eight of wisdom is the eight of pentacles and that's about a card that's pointing to practical caring full, careful and a constructed uh, person with focus somebody who is excellent in uh, studying um, when he's an employer he thinks very well about his employees but sometimes he he's a bit overwhelming so this person which this card points to can be in the company of people a little clumsy and act before he thinks so when it's upside down there's a feeling of void greed deceit uh, injustice intrigue and unfairness so these are positive aspects you should work on be practical you might get something inherited be determined uh, endeavor science and equalness and be humble so these are positive aspects also about this card so i guess that was your reading for today i hope it was any insightful for you in any way and thank you for watching